Hey, Physique Freaks, how's it going? Scott Tuzan on MetaBlockMasterpiece.com. It's Friday, November 13th. It's wet, it's cold out. I'm freezing my butt off. Was gonna get, should've wore my toque out here, but it was pouring out five minutes before we left the house. So I didn't want my toque to get soaking wet and make me even more cold than I already am. Um, anyhow, got some footage from our chest and tricep workout coming your way. Every meal that I eat for the day, it's going to be a refeed day for me today, a cheat day. We're going to be having pizza for dinner, some other good stuff. Uh, going to be delaying my breakfast a bit to kind of accommodate for all that uh, food later on in the day. I've got lots going on. Let's get to that footage. Woke up at 6.30 a.m., grabbed myself a cup of coffee with a drop of 2% milk. Then around 8 o'clock, brought my baby in for her first oil change and tire rotation. 11 o'clock brought Chief out for a walk on this cool, wet, brisk day. Uh, the cool air was definitely invigorating, woke me up, got me fired up for an incredible day. Uh, just before 12.30, this was my first meal of the day. I'm not used to delaying my breakfast. Uh, it really helped uh, being busy all morning long. Uh, so we got eight egg whites, an extra large egg, mushrooms, peppers, spinach cooked in half a tablespoon of coconut oil and topped with a bit of ketchup. Just before 3.30, hit the gym for chest and triceps. Killer workout. This is our second time doing this workout in our four-week training block here. Uh, last week, we just used body weight, which is always a little bit of trial and error. We're doing eight sets of eight here. So I'm in the middle of my eight sets of eight during this footage. Uh, so we just used body weight the last time, and there was three of us rotating through. So our rest periods were much longer, closer to like 30 to 40 seconds between sets. I was keeping it to 15 seconds between sets. So it was killer. It's a big jump. Reduce reduction in rest period as well as an increase in resistance. Uh, it was awesome. Huge pump. Actually worked out perfect for me. Later on we hit some incline bench. So we got Paul, Spot, and Rick here and Mike also joined us. Um, and Mike's shoulder uh, has been bothering him for a long time. He hasn't bench pressed in years. Uh, so we told him, but he always uses the dumbbells, loves dumbbell bench press, and we actually did that previously to this uh, exercise. We did flat dumbbell bench press, and he was crushing it there. Uh, so we said, hey, how about you use this angled bar for the barbell bench press and see how your shoulder feels. This grip felt outstanding for him, no shoulder issues at all. So he was super stoked that he can finally get back to some barbell bench pressing comfortably and um, I know he's always been strong in that area, so it'll be exciting to see how he progresses there. Here we've got uh, Cable Flies doing some 21s here. So you may have seen this from last week's footage. Seven in that back range of motion in the stretch position. Uh, and then seven in the top half here, getting a good squeeze, contraction, and then you're gonna do seven full reps. Really love the focus here, really love being able to focus on that bottom portion of the movement, engaging the muscle before, like contracting it before you actually move the weight. And then that squeeze is awesome. Then the full seven reps just puts it all together. Um, nice that it's a, a good manageable weight, but it's amazing how it catches up to you here at the end. Felt awesome, loving the vascularity and the details that I'm seeing here. And then uh, we blasted some tries. The last exercise was 21s for the rope press downs. And uh, this is pretty, pretty light and catches you off guard. You think in the beginning, oh, it's super easy. I better slow it down and really feel the, the tension in the muscles. And then you get to the last seven reps and it's, it's just nasty. So that first top half, it's, uh, it's, it seems pretty easy, but you really wanna keep that tension, like I said, engage those triceps right away. No momentum at all there. And uh, the bottom half getting a good squeeze, a good contraction, then going for the full seven reps, it's nasty. I, I struggled to get my last rep here, and this is, this is my third set, and I reduced the weight to make sure that I could do it, and it was just absolutely brutal. Dinner time. Pizza. <laughs> we haven't had pizza in a little while. This was a great treat. I definitely felt ready for a refeed. This is four weeks into this cutting phase and uh, a refeed just really felt necessary uh, right now. So that was around 6.30. I had this five slices. And then I grabbed two more slices shortly after that. These are nice thin sliced pizzas. Great pizza. Uh, really enjoyed uh, enjoyed this, this meal. So 
good cheat day after only having like 350 calories throughout the day. I had lots of room to spare for calories here. So I had the pizza and then 7.30, an hour later, had a little bowl of the frozen yogurt. Uh, this is only about 120 calories for, uh, for a cup of this frozen yogurt. Delicious, absolutely love it. Then went out with the guys to play some darts, eight o'clock, sweet potato and beet chips. These things are awesome. Absolutely love them. First time I've tried these and uh, delicious, a great little great little treat. So brought these to darts and uh, my brother-in-law had a nice spread of veggies. So we did this two weeks ago um, for, for dart night. And we got some beers there. So I had a few beers tonight, had lots of veggies, Rick brought some turkey pepperettes. I had some chips there. Uh, so a little snacking, a little drinking, and uh, just a good time all in all. I didn't. I got busy over the weekend, so didn't record any video footage. Kept within, uh, here we are playing some darts. So here's a nice little setup. Two boards, uh, just a great group of guys. But uh, so no footage for Saturday and Sunday. Kept to maintenance calories. Catch you Monday.